All right, how you doing today? Uh, today we're going to be going over how to insert a graph into Microsoft Word so that you can do graphing problems and uh, whatnot a little bit easier instead of having to scan them in. So first thing we have here is we have a blank Microsoft Office 2007 document. Uh, I can verify that this does work in 2010 as well. That's what I use on my laptop. I have not used 2003, so I don't know how this would work. You'll have to experiment. All right, so we have a blank document. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go to the Insert tab up here, and then we're going to click on Chart. Okay, it brings up this pop-up window. On the left-hand side, we're going to select XY Scatter, and it automatically selects the chart that we want to use. So you can just go ahead and click OK. All right, immediately we notice that we've got a new chart here. Uh, also, if you're on a single monitor, it's going to open up an Excel document uh, right next to your Word document. I'm using multiple monitors, so it's on a different screen. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these values uh, so that we have a blank chart to work with. So uh, you see I highlighted the first box here. Uh, hitting my delete key on the keyboard, I'm going to tab through and delete all of these values so we have a blank chart. At this point, I can just go ahead and close out the Excel document and go back to my chart. All right, let's make this look a little bit more like uh, we want it to. So first thing we're going to do is I clicked on the uh, Y values on the side here and once again, pressing my delete key, getting rid of that, as well as getting rid of the Y values on top. All right, now what we want to do is make this uh, chart or graph look like we want it to. So up here under uh, the tabs, you'll see you have layout. Uh, my chart is selected, that's why that's available. When I click on layout, okay, I get a whole new series of buttons here. First thing I want to do is click on axes. Okay, primary horizontal axis is going to be the axes across the bottom there. I'm going to go down to primary horizontal axis options. All right, in this window, first thing I'm going to do is start uh, putting in the values that I want, okay? These are going to change uh, how many numbers are visible. You see, all of a sudden, I've got negative 6 available, as well as 6 there. Okay, so now it goes negative 6 to, to 6 left and right. But at the same time, I've got all of these numbers down here, so we need to change the major unit to 1, okay? Uh, this one here, we can just go ahead and leave auto. Uh, since this is selected as none, it doesn't matter. Okay, the other thing that we want to change on here before we exit out is the major tick mark type. Let's change that to cross. Okay, and that adds it so the lines are on either side of the, the axis line. Okay, clicking close and going back up to axis. I'm going to go and change the vertical axis options. Once again, I'm going to just do the same things here. Minimum, uh, it's easy to remember, lowest value, so that's a negative 6. Maximum value is 6. And major unit is 1. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and change this to cross. And that's all we got to do here. All right, so now you can see I've got my horizontal lines across, but I don't have my vertical lines. So I'm going to go up to grid lines primary vertical grid lines and change that to major grid lines. Okay. Now if I click anywhere inside of here, you can see I could select different options. So what I want to do is I want to click on my horizontal grid lines, uh, which are actually your vertical axis grid lines. You'll see that it says that here. Okay. I want to click on format selection for that. Okay. So make sure you have value, vertical value axis major selected format selection. Change this to a solid line, and we're going to go to 50%. Okay, and you can see now that the grid lines are a little less visible. I'm going to click on my horizontal axis grid lines and do the same thing. Solid. Computer's going a little slow here. And close. Okay, so now you see... We have your vertical and horizontal axis uh, with your numbers next to the axes. You've got your grid lines, uh, and they're a little less transparent, a little more transparent, so it's easier to see the major grid lines. Now I'm going to just drag this. Uh, normally on my 
other computer that I do this on. I've got a ruler up and so I can make it the same size. We want these squares to be about the same length as where they are width so that they're actually square. Otherwise your uh, graph's going to look a little goofy. Now at this point we can uh, go ahead and start throwing things into our chart. Okay, and so I'm just going to make up some values here. So we've got a blank chart here. You want to add in uh, dots, okay, uh, your solutions, if you will. So I'm going to right click inside. You see it brings up the little pop up here. And I'm going to click on edit data. And now once again, that opens up our Excel spreadsheet. At this point, we can just put some values in here. I'm just making stuff up. So four, negative five, I don't know two, three, okay? Uh, and you can add as many as you want, as many plots that you have. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna do two because I'm not gonna spend time trying to figure out a, <laughs> a straight line. But we have two here and uh, that can create a straight line. All right, and so I close out the Excel again. Now I've got my two dots here. Now I want actual round dots, okay? So I'm gonna click on that. You'll see that uh, it comes up with the the name of what's clicked and click on format selection you can change barker options uh, it's already select automatic I want to change it to built-in and we're going to change it to an actual round dot we can change the size of it too I like it a little bit smaller so it's not as intrusive okay now I click OK uh, you can also with this add uh, your labels if you want them. I leave them off because you can't have parentheses in the label and so it doesn't look proper. Uh, I haven't had any issues with grading as far as them being able to figure out okay this is uh, two three would be the coordinates for this you know what I mean and so uh, it's, we'll leave that as okay now we want to make a line all right so we're gonna go up to shapes okay uh, if you want to do the arrows, this is the easiest way. You can also just do a straight line. Uh, it kind of depends on what the problem is that you're doing. We're going to go ahead and do with the arrows. You see that my cursor changed to a cross. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the first dot and it wigged out. Hold on. <laughs> so I'm going to click on the first dot. And then I'm going to drag this down to the other dot. Okay, and now I've got my line over the two coordinates that I put in. Holding down my shift key, now I can drag on the end of the line, the circle that was there, and continue it to the edge of the chart. Okay, and now you can see when I click outside of here, uh, this could be a solution to your problem. All right. Uh, there's also some problems that require you uh, to shade in an area or change this to a dotted line. We'll go over that real quick while we're still here. So once again, clicking back in the chart and clicking on the line, if I go to format and I go to, this is different than in 2010. Let me make sure I'm clicked on the right thing. Format. Okay, and then go down to dashes, click on that. that it's kind of hard to see, that didn't work right. Let's try this one. That one looks a little better. Okay, so if you had to change it to dashes like some of our problems, uh, clicking on the line, making sure you're under the format tab, and then picture border going down to dashes. Uh, we can select this one here. In 2010, the second one down makes a really nice line. You can see how it also, as I'm doing this, you can see how it's changing the line so you can get an idea of what it'll look like. That one does the best. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do, let's say the problem required us to shade in this area right here. Okay, so once again, I'm clicked inside the chart. I'm going to go to Layout, Shapes, okay, and... Uh, once again, we want to make sure we're under the chart part, uh, the chart tab, shapes, and then we're going to go to this freeform shape right here. Okay, this allows me to draw a shape however I want. So I'm going to start right here. Okay, holding down the shift key causes me to draw a straight line. It's supposed to, we'll 
fit it here a little bit. Okay, and I'm just outlining this area. And when I double click at the end here, okay, you see how it made the shape of that area. So now what I want to do is uh, change. That's the outline. More outline options. We should be able to change the transparency here. We actually want that no outline. I don't know why it's not letting us change the fill option. <laughs> There, that's what we want. Solid fill, and I normally just once again go to like 50%. Okay, do you see how I did that there? Sorry, I've been doing all this in 2010 and then came down here and did it on 2007. So here we go. Uh, we drew our shape, and now I went and right clicked on it, format shape, and then changed it to 50%. All right, uh, you saw that took me a couple minutes because I was setting it up, but now all I need to do is uh, copy this. I do control C and paste and I've got another one. And so at this point, I know I'm not going to have the same exact shape. And so I'm going to delete that edit data. Once again, popped up in a different place, but uh, we'll just change this to one. Okay, so put those values in there, close that out, and move the line over the dots. Okay, and then shift drag to the edge of the chart. Boom, and let's say this one, we need it to be an actual uh, solid line. So we're going to change this one back to solid. Okay. And then uh, clicking inside of there, layout shapes, freeform, and then dragging. And I messed up. <laughs> Layout shapes, freeform. Let's try this one more time. And you can see I've got that filled there. Format, we want to do picture border, no outline, and then right click in it format shape and change this to 50% and boom and you saw how long that took me to do and so as soon as you have one set up copy and pasting it goes that fast uh, if you need any help uh, let me know and I'll be willing to help out